Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. Rainbows are beautiful and they come after the storm and they're a symbol of hope and a promise that everything is going to be all right. Let's paint one. I have my supplies here, my primary colors, blue, yellow and red, and I have my black and white, my paper or canvas and my paper towel, a cup with water, my brushes, a flat brush and a round brush, and a pencil. Okay, let's get started and let's draw. So first I'm going to, I have my paper here horizontal and I'm going to go from, I'm actually going to start here from, no, I'll start from here from the edge and I'm going to make a, and I'm going to go all the way to the other edge and I'm going to make a rainbow. It may not look perfect now, but when I paint, I'm going to try my best. So that's all. I just want to make an arch. Pretty much an arch going from one edge to the other one so just go woo and then come back down so from this edge maybe you can put a little point here go woo meet that point and then come back down all right that's all we need that's pretty much all we need the rest we're going to paint now grab your big brush we're gonna get some white and I'm just going to put a tad, a very little bit of black. So it's going to go, it's going to turn into gray. So get some, some white. And then we have a little bit of water here. I'm going to paint here. I'm going to paint the sky. The sky is still a little bit gray because it just rained a lot. So it's still gray. But the, the rainbow is coming to give us joy. So cover that whole area on top of the rainbow of your arch. Cover that whole area gray. You got it. Okay. Now we're going to start mixing the colors to make our rainbow. I'm going to start with, I'm actually going to start with purple. I want to get a little bit of blue and red and mix it together. And I get purple. I'm going to get a little bit of white because I don't want my colors to be too bright. I want it to be a little bit muted and a little bit lighter. So make sure you have a little bit of water in that paint, in the, your purple paint. And using the width of the brush, I want you to start from here and you're going to follow that arch. Keep the same pressure. Follow the arch all the way to the other side. If you run out of paint, you just reload the paint, the, bar, the brush. All the way. You got it. Now I'm just going to get some red and I'll add a little bit of white to it so it's more of a, a pink. I don't want this rainbow to be too bright. And then I'm going to go right here next to the purple. I don't want to go on top of it, next to it. And keep following the arch. I didn't have enough red. Make sure it's the same width as the purple.
Use your arm as you paint, not only your hand, but use your whole arm to move your brush. It'll help a lot. Okay, now I'm going to kind of clean up a little bit, just a little bit, because mine had some purple in it. And now I'm going to make the red and yellow, which makes orange, and I'm going to add a little bit of white. Red, yellow, and white. Because I want it to be a, a light orange. I'm going to add a little water to, to that paint so it can flow nicely. Now right here, I'll do the same thing. There we go. Now I'm gonna clean that brush. Now I'm gonna just gonna get just yellow and white. So it's a pale yellow. Add a little water so it can mix, so it can flow nicely. And do the same thing. So now, this rainbow, we're, gonna, we're not gonna see the green. So what I want you to do is just finish the bottom here with yellow, okay? And almost like the sun is under the, under the, the rainbow. Just finish it with yellow. Okay, here's my rainbow. Very nice. Clean your brush. I'm going to now paint the water in front of my rainbow. And for that, I'm going to make a turquoise color first. So I'm going to have blue, first blue and white, so it's like a light blue. And then I'm just going to put a touch of yellow. So blue and white, and then a touch of yellow. It will turn into a little bit of a green turquoise or an aqua color. Okay, you got it. Meanwhile, our rainbow is drying. Make sure that your rainbow is dry. Add a little white to it, make sure it's nice and white, this turquoise that we're going to add. Now right over here, what I'll do is I'm going to create waves. I'm going to make a wave, another wave. I know I'm overlapping our beautiful, our beautiful rainbow, but it's okay. We can do this. Make a wave. For the water and then now you're gonna get some blue just blue and white 
that's it you still have some of that turquoise on your brush anyway just blue and white that's all you need a little bit of water and now you're going to now the waves can be a little bit different and they can actually overlap with another just have to make sure that it stands out a little bit from the one in the back and then now I'm gonna get just plain blue no white I'm gonna go in the here and I'm gonna make more waves so I have layers of waves I want to make sure this one stands out from the ones in the back so it's just gonna get darker I mean as it goes forward as it gets closer it's gonna get darker you see just have a bunch of waves here in the bottom so lighter lighter and then darker here in the front very nice next Grab the small brush that you have and with your black paint, get black and a little bit of white. We're going to make, first we're going to make some birds. I want you to make a little line going down here like a curve and then another one going up and birds always like to fly in groups so we're gonna make another one a little bit smaller and we're also gonna make fishies and we're just gonna see the shadow of the fish so get a little bit of black make a dot and then give it two little tails Two little lines for the tails and they also like to swim in groups so I'm gonna make more than one fish little dots and then just put a, two little tails they're very tiny they're here on this on this side and I'll make another one here two There you go. Cool. What a beautiful day this is. It was a stormy day, but guess what? The rainbow came out and everybody was happy. The birds and the fish and us. We are happy too. Thanks for painting with me. See you next time. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you did. So how about you take a picture of your painting and post it on the Spotty Daddy Show Facebook page so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So, see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.